Representatives of the United States Congress today, June 15, introduced a bill regarding the possibility of using frozen Russian assets to aid Ukraine. According to a statement from the Committee on Foreign Relations of the U.S. Senate, the proposed legislation aims to utilize assets seized from the Central Bank of the Russian Federation and other sovereign Russian assets to provide additional support to Ukraine. Senators Jim Risch and Sheldon Whitehouse highlighted that Russia continues to engage in a full-scale war against Ukraine, with sovereign Russian assets worth over $300 billion frozen worldwide. Significant funds will be required for the reconstruction of Ukraine's economy, and Russia should be held accountable for the damages inflicted. The lawmakers propose that Congress take action and prohibit the sale of Russian state assets by the administration until they can be used to assist Ukraine. The proposed bill includes the following provisions, granting the president the authority to confiscate frozen sovereign Russian assets within the United States and allocate them for the reconstruction of Ukraine, prohibiting the transfer of funds to Russian entities under sanctions until Russia and its forces withdraw from Ukraine and agree to compensate for the damages caused by the war. Directing the President to collaborate with allies and partners in creating an international compensation mechanism for the transfer of confiscated or frozen Russian sovereign assets to aid Ukraine. Providing additional resources to the Department of State's Office of Sanctions Coordination for collaborating with foreign partners to confiscate additional sovereign Russian assets in other countries. Ensuring that losses incurred by Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine are borne by Putin and not American taxpayers. Friends, if you are interested, support the channel by subscribing and like. We are trying for you. See you soon. All the best to you.